Yeah, for about 75% of the game uh, on and off, it was real good. Uh, we had great energy. I thought our defensive pressure was good and the rotations uh, are up the court. Uh, uh, defense was real good. So um, uh, very satisfying to be two and two for us. Uh, and to finally now continue to play together. Uh, we've been together about two weeks, the whole group. So um, I think we're all feeling like it's coming together. We worked hard on our uh, up-the-court, full-court press kind of defense, and um, uh, we can feed off of that um, and use our length to our advantage. So um, it was an emphasis tonight to start with great energy, and uh, I was pleased in that first quarter. I didn't think we stuck to our rules. I thought that we allowed them to uh, do exactly what they wanted to do. They played physical. We didn't handle the physicality of the game, and uh, we need to get better. That early on slow to that start the charge. Oh, for sure. That first quarter definitely put us on our back foot. I, I thought that we uh, we never really got back in the game. We're still learning stuff, um, but we have a tendency to get loose with it at times uh, with leads and. Um, Sometimes uh, I think I'm going to just have to let them persevere through it uh, and learn from the mistakes. It's uh, uh, frustrating for all of us when that happens, but um, um, we'll get better at it. Uh, yeah, possibly, but I, I think they would have liked to finish better. And I, I thought we did do some things p properly in that last quarter, but I thought, you're right, the game was over. Yeah, I, you know, I, I thought our, our pressure was good uh, and our communication uh, was real good. I think Sav was 7 for 17, and uh, Sean and, and Steve and, and the whole team did a good job on him. Uh, he looked fatigued. Uh, and uh, really, all the other guys, we were able to switch uh, when needed and used our length. And uh, uh, Dusty was quiet, and uh, Davidson was, was pretty quiet, too. And uh, I thought we did a pretty good job on Tregear. Yeah, I felt, uh, you know, I felt like a completely different player out there tonight. Um, you know, I... Seems like I finally got my energy back, and uh, you know, it was when I got back. I guess you know, sitting off, you know, for five weeks um, over in the Olympics, it's kind of weird that you're at the Olympics, but you kind of, you know, you're not playing a whole lot, so it's kind of getting out of shape. So it's just getting back, uh, you know, and getting a feel for things. There's no doubt they shot the ball pretty well, but we, you know, we left them in situations where they were getting wide open shots, and it's about us sticking to our game plan and taking those shots away, and that's. You know, you look at their individuals and who shoots the ball well, and you know, Darnell Hinson was one of those players that we looked at, uh, you know, making sure he doesn't get open shots, and I mean, he got some wide open looks straight away, and Sean Reddish as well. So there's a game plan that has to be stuck to there, and although they did play well, I don't think I think that we gave them opportunities to put them in areas of their strength, and and that's what we need to take away. And if they make if they make tough shots over over a hand or someone, you know, in their grill, then so be it. But that wasn't the case. I think players, they got left wide open and executed their plays pretty well and they punished us. Yeah, the night on Friday, Daniel was, was outstanding and probably even better again tonight. Which is, which is yeah, he's got uh, a lot of confidence going right now. And uh, tonight he shot the ball well early, especially in uh, um, diving on the floor and, and really getting into Kavasi. Um, that was the game plan. And uh, I felt like he was going to have a good, good game. He had a good shoot around and, uh, and looked real bouncy. We felt that that was uh, a key to the game tonight. I think uh, nobody played more than 33, 34 minutes. Um, and uh, we got Stevie some, some minutes. We got Tommy some minutes. We got Gooling some minutes. Got a few minutes for Brad. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was, it was good that uh, I could rest him a little bit uh, in, in some of the starters as we go out on the road. Yeah, we weren't a good road team last year. I mean, I can't remember exactly what our record was, but uh, um, it's been an emphasis in preseason. Uh, we what we have seven or eight preseason games, I think, on the road, um, except for a couple down south. And so uh, we have to, you know, as the cliche says, we have to take one game at a time and put a very, very good effort on the floor to our first road game. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, you know we've gotten better each game, so it's 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 encouraging signs right now. But uh, you know we we got the toughest part of our schedule coming up here, probably in the next. Uh, month, month and a half, so we're going to have to make sure we take, take some confidence from this win, but make sure we stay focused because, uh, you know, getting, getting road wins is, you know, something that we're going to have to do to, uh, you know, compete for a championship. You know, we got to go up to Townsville now and, and get ready for uh, the Corey Homicide Williams show and their run and gun offense. Um, we have to be very good in transition defense to, to slow them and uh, make it a half court game and use our size and uh, uh, I'm, I'm planning us, on us to go up there and uh, give a good effort.